Thank you, Ashley. Now let's take a look at some of the flooding reported across North Alabama this weekend. Literal waterfalls of rain falling on parts of North Alabama. This along Highway 72 near Paint Rock. But the rain and floods were not limited to the Sand Mountain area. Parts of Madison County also saw the impacts of the heavy rains. Pinhook Creek looked like a raging river, and Indian Creek swelled over into Creekwood Park in Madison, leaving the playground underwater. Huntsville police say they responded to nearly 20 wrecks overnight because of the weather. They shut down several roads because of water on the road. Decatur police also saw ponding in their area and more floodwaters for the second day in a row. Here you can see a bystander helping a young man push his SUV out of rising floodwaters in Decatur Saturday. People in Ardmore also had the same problem. With cars stuck on the road, a culvert even washed out by the heavy rain, leaving a gap on Barnes Road. The area will be closed off until repairs are made, but people who live in the area say the flooding is something they're used to. Anytime it rains, any kind of amount really, other than just a quick shower, it does this. But with more rain ahead for the start of our work week, officials across all North Alabama are urging people to be careful as flooding will continue to be an issue for the next few days.